Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wase here and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can update the iOS of your iPhone using iTunes. So let's begin the video. So before I begin to show you the process you are going to be wondering why you want to update the iOS of your iPhone or iPad using iTunes when you can update it directly from your phone. So you are correct but if you are facing the problem that you are going to try to update the iOS from your phone if the update is supported then sometimes you are going to face the error that your phone is not going to either download the update or it's not going to uh, install the update. So in that case iTunes is going to be very helpful. The other case is that if you want to do a clean uh, uh, installation of the iOS meaning that you don't want the previous iOS to be stored on your device then in that case you're going to do it with iTunes. So let's move towards our PC and I'm going to show you how you can do it. The process will be same for Mac as well, but I'm going to be doing it on a Windows PC for this video. So here I am on Windows PC. First of all, I need to download and install iTunes. So for that, I'm going to open my browser. You can open any browser. Uh, you're going to open this website, support.apple.com slash download slash iTunes. And from here you need to download iTunes either 32 bit or 64 bit. So I will put the download link of this website in the video description. So for in order to find the bit open your file explorer here on the left you got this PC right click on it and go to properties from here you can see the bit version of your windows we are just simply going to expand it and here it's going to say system type somewhere right here here it is system type and here you can see it says 64 bit operating system so we need to download itunes for 64 bit and here it says itunes 64 bit we are going to press on the download button and the download should start download so we are just going to wait until the download is completed it is a 191 mb file so it should not take long again it's going to depend on your internet speed okay here we have it itunes setup as you can see we're going to right click on it and run it as an administrator okay windows installer here is itunes we're going to press on next uh, add itunes to my desktop use itunes as default media player uncheck it here is going to show you the default location and after that we are going to install itunes okay the download installation has been complete finish okay you need to agree the license agreement after reading it press on agree here you can see welcome to your new iphone a new version of itunes is available would you like to download it now press on don't download or cross so for now if you don't get this option go to help and here it's going to say check for updates so we're going to press on check for updates so you need to make sure that you have the latest version of itunes in my case is 12.12.3 i'm going to press on download so the download manager is going to open up so you need to have the latest version of itunes in order to install ios on your iphone or ipad because if the itunes version isn't the latest one then you may not able to download the ios okay here it's showing the itunes and its total size is uh, 204 mb we're going to press on install one item so now it's going to download it it's you can see it's saying 38 mb so it's going to download the whole setup in chunks so we're just going to wait until the download is completed to finish installing the software you need to restart your computer so make sure that you save everything if you have opened it so i'm just going to press on yes to restart my computer right now okay once my computer has been restart i'm going to open itunes again uh, now what you need to do is to connect your iphone to your laptop pc or your macbook using the lightning cable once you connected it you're going to have a pop-up on itunes do you want to allow this computer to access information on this iphone press on continue and on your iphone it's going to ask for the passcode as well just press on passcode and after that press on trust device 
so in the first case you're just going to wait a little bit for the iphone to show up on itunes here it's a message a new iphone version 15.4.1 is available for the iphone would you like to download it and update your iphone so here you can see it's asking for it so we're going to press on download only to download the ios first and after that we're going to install it we're going to press on download only make sure iphone is connected to itunes for now okay iphone software we're going to press on next we're going to uh, read the terms and press on agree and we're just going to wait until the request is validated here on the top right we're going to press on it and you can see the iphone software update uh 3 mb of 5.37 gb and around three hours are remaining so it's going to take some time to download because it is a 5.37 gb file and the uh, download speed is going to depend on your internet connection so if you have a fast internet connection it's going to download fast but if you have a slower one then it's going to take some time so when your ios is downloading now you can unplug your iphone and you can use it however you want because once the downloadation process starts it's not necessary for your iphone to be connected so just unplug your iphone and use as normal so the download has been completed it's going to take some time again on your internet connection speed so if your internet disconnects when well, it's downloading then it's going to start again which happened in my process which sucks really but what can we do this is the official way to get apple's official ios you can download it from the internet but there is a chance that it might have malware so this is the uh, safest way to go anyways the download has been completed so now i'm going to connect my iphone on which i want to update the ios so once i connect my iphone it should recognize it and i'm going to unlock my iphone as well once the iphone has been unlocked you can see itunes it's going to say do you want to update now or later first of all i'm going to close it here on the top left side you're going to have a small little phone icon press on this phone icon and before you press on the update button uh, if you don't uh, have a backup of your iphone you can just select from here where it says this computer press on this computer after that press on the backup now button so in this way all of your iphone backup is going to be stored on your laptop and when you're going to update the phone you can restore it again from your laptop by pressing the restore iphone button but in my case this iphone does not have anything so i can just simply press on the update button but again make sure that you back up all of your data before you press on the update ios button so if you don't know how you can do it you can search it on youtube a lot of people have made a video on how you can back up your iphone data using ios in my case i don't have any data so i'm just simply going to press on the update button and first of all it's going to verify from the apple server so make sure you have an active internet connection on your laptop itunes will update your iphone to ios 15.4.1 and will verify the update with apple we're going to press on update so uh, we're going to press or type the passcode on our iphone you can see on the top it says extracting software so this whole bar is going to complete uh, so the uh, ios version will mainly depend on your phone so 15.4.1 is the latest ios version of iphone so i have the iphone 10 right now which is updating so if you're going to have an older phone like really older like the iphone 6 it might not update to the ios 15.4.1 because it is no longer supported by apple so i will put the website link in the video description where you can see that which ios version is supported by apple for which phones for your easiness so we're just going to wait until the extraction is completed so here you can see we got an error message the iphone could not be updated an unknown error occurred 4000 so if you're going to have this kind of error it's because you have iphone lock on your iphone for which you are updating so for that just uh, open your iphone on the iphone go to settings go to uh, face id and passcode enter your iphone's passcode and you need to what you do is that you need to disable passcode from the settings so let me just first of all disable face id 
then I'm going to disable this. And after that, we're going to turn off passcode, re-enter your iPhone's passcode so that it disables it. After that, we need to go back. We need to go to display and brightness. Here it says auto lock in 30 seconds, press on auto lock and set it to never. So now the error should not come on our iPhone. Here we're going to press on OK on iTunes. So we're going to press on no thanks. For now, just unplug your iPhone from your PC and replug it again. Okay, we're going to cross or close it, go to our iPhone, press on update, make sure that you have backed up your iPhone. I'm going to press on update. It's going to again extract the software first. Press on update. So here you can see it says preparing iPhone for software update. So now you need to make sure that you do not unplug your iPhone when it is updating or else it's going to, uh, you know, disrupt the software update. Here you can see on the phone, it's showing that you need to plug in the cable, but it is already plugged in. So we're not going to do anything. Uh, the iPhone is going to do any everything by itself and the iPhone may restart many times when the update process is happening so you don't have to do anything and just watch this video to get a better idea when you need to proceed forward so for now we're just going to wait until the updation process is complete so here on the apple we got this little loading bar it ain't complete yet it's just starting so it's going to verify the update first and then it's going to install on our iphone okay we got a message your iphone has been updated and is restarting please leave your iphone connected it will appear in the itunes window after it restarts so here you can see the iphone is just currently powered off and we have to do nothing it will restart by itself and we will see it on itunes okay we got the apple logo okay now we got a second progress bar as well Okay, we got a message on iTunes. I could iTunes could not be connected to the iPhone iPhone because valid invalid response was received from the device. But anyways, we still got the progress bar on the iPhone. So for now, we're not going to do anything and just wait until the progress bar completes on the iPhone. We're just going to press on OK for now. Okay, so we got our iPhone unlocked. Let's see whether it has updated or not we're going to go to general uh, about and here you can see the software version is 15.4.1 which means that we have successfully updated the ios of our iphone using itunes so guys in this way you can do it so guys if you like this video like share subscribe again all the download links will be in the video description just below the like button if you have any questions write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and stay safe